Uh, man, was it snowing hard. We woke up this morning and we went to bed last night. It was snowing. Woke up this morning and shocked to see you know, already about six inches of snow where I live in Grafton and it just got heavier throughout the morning and early afternoon as the lake effect machine kicked in. My driveway ended up with about 13 inches of snow as did Germantown, Newburgh at almost 16, Jackson over 14, West Bend at 11, Milwaukee at eight and a half and still snowing a little bit. The record was 6.7. Pewaukee and most of the inland areas got what they were supposed to get between four and six inches of snow, but the lake effect machine then kicked in. Now we're seeing that the advisory start to drop. They've already now dropped since we've been on at the top of the hour. Sheboygan County, uh, Walworth County will be dropped right around 1 a.m. or so, if not earlier. Ozaki County stays under the lake effect snow warning until 7 a.m. Everyone else until 1 p.m. from south side of Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha for those lake effect snow bans. This is what it looks like right now at the airport. About an hour ago, you couldn't even see the light. It was snowing so heavily. But you notice this, the light is blowing around, the snow is blowing around, and it is cold. So that slush that you had on the sidewalks and driveways earlier today, because that warmer pavement was actually melting the snow, it is now freezing. It's 26 degrees. The north wind is at 23. That's sustained. So it's now becoming more of a northerly wind. It's trying to shut off that lake effect. And it is actually for a big chunk of the area. Milwaukee now just seeing some flurries downtown. The airport still seeing a moderate snow shower down towards Franklin. And as you go down towards Wind Lake and Waterford, they're starting to get a little bit more snow in Racine, Wind Point, and Kenosha, where they've had a pretty quiet evening so far, but it has really quieted down points to the north. But we are watching more lake effect snow bands. But watch what they're doing. They're becoming your typical lake effect bands. Very narrow, very elongated, where this morning it was just a huge area of snow being fed in with an east to northeast wind. This is becoming more typical, so it'll be very small areas seeing more of that snow overnight. You can see it on future forecast. These lines lining up right along the lakefront by tomorrow morning. I'll get out of the way. 830 in the morning. You can see mainly right along the south side, down towards Wind Point and Kenosha, most of it out over the lake. And then by noon, most of it's gone. Inland, you are done with the snow and now it's just going to be windy and cold. So from about, I'd say Jackson down towards Lake Country, Lake Geneva, about an inch of snow additional by noon tomorrow. Most of that would be falling uh, overnight tonight. One to two for a big chunk of the area and then two to four, maybe isolated five out towards Wind Point, Racine and Kenosha by noon tomorrow. Totals about 10 to 16 in the pinkish area. Inland, four to six. Temperature right now in the teens and 20s. The winds gusting anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles per hour. They're gusting at 33 right now in Milwaukee and the wind chill in the single digits and the teens. By tomorrow morning, single digits to teens and with a 20 mile per hour wind, there'll be some blowing snow and wind chills close to zero. Here's your seven day forecast. 25 tomorrow, 28 on Wednesday. So the snow sticks around for a couple of days. We'll have wind chills close to zero once again tomorrow night. 37 on Thursday, rain on Friday on top of all this snow. That'll be pleasant. Make sure you clear out the rain gutters. And then 40s near 50 degrees by the weekend with rain showers moving in on Monday. Our weather kid is three year old Mason. He's got a shovel, George. He'll help you shovel out your driveway in the morning. 15 degrees with wind chills near zero. That's why he's bundled up in 26 by afternoon. This lake effect snow machine almost over with. We're back after this.